guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we're a Canadian homesteading and how-to channel. And today we got a brand new 2021 GMC Sierra 1500. It's the Denali. It's a bit of a mouthful, eh? <laughs> it's got the inline six uh, baby Duramax three liter and we're doing the first oil change on it. So it's my father-in-law's truck. He uh, traded the Cummins in for it. So he didn't need all that truck. So. They're into a 1500 now and they're loving it. It's got about 12,000 kilometers and it's due for an oil change. So you can do your own oil changes on these trucks. He went right in there. They sold them the wrong oil originally. You know, these are brand new trucks and even the dealers don't know really what the hell is going on. This truck does take 020, okay? It needs to be the Dextrose D it has to say D, it has to be the big D. Dextrose with the big D. <laughs> That's the oil spec you need, okay? To my knowledge, and I didn't look that hard, but there's only two places to buy it. Uh, AC Delco makes a uh, 020 that meets the GM spec. Uh, it was $63 a liter, okay, in Canada. Um, you know, you, it calls for seven uh, US quarts, or seven, seven liters basically, seven of these bottles for the oil change and then we shopped around. Turns out Amsoil's got it. I think it was 12 or 13 bucks Canadian. So it meets the spec. Uh, we ran it by the dealer. They're okay with it. And yeah, so we're good with, on the oil. The oil filter, it's AC Delco Professional. It's the PF66, all right, oil filter. Uh, it's blue, I've already installed it. But um, super easy oil change, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I, back, I uh, pull the truck up onto the ramps You'll see in the video, it actually, it works out really well. Uh, you can just jack up the front or you can just get underneath there. There's plenty of room with 21 inch, uh, like 20 inch tires, or whatever they got on these things, it's huge. Um, the oil filter and the oil pan are right next to each other. There's no shroud to take off, it's great. 15 millimeter you'll need with a little bit of a uh, extension on it, right now underneath the sway bar to drain it. And then just your regular old uh, adjustable oil filter uh, wrenches. I'm using these like uh, channel lock style. I think you could probably get a uh, belt style on if you wanted to. I found uh, these worked quite well. Alrighty. So yeah, if you own uh, one of these baby Duramaxes, you definitely want to subscribe. We will be doing all our own maintenance on this truck like we normally do, including all the uh, fuel filters, you know, brakes and all that stuff as it, as it comes through. And yeah, let's quit rambling and we'll get into it. All right, guys. So like you can see, I got the, uh, truck jacked up on the on the rhino ramps and it on this particular setup it actually is going to help you because I don't know if you can see right there there's the drain bolt next to the oil filter which is super convenient it's right behind the front shroud here and directly in front of the uh, transmission um, really good setup here for these trucks uh, and the way the drain bolts pointing is this way so if you're on ramps you will get uh, better flow okay so what I found is it looks like it's 14 millimeter for the uh, drain bolt. It's a little bit sloppy, but uh, that's all that fits. So we're gonna have to use that. Anyhow, so I'm going to uh, go ahead. I got the truck warmed up now. I'm going to start draining the oil. I have no idea where this is gonna go. It looks like it's gonna hit the sway bar. All right, keep your hand high if you can. This is like 020, so it's gonna be like water coming out. Whoa, just missed her. All right, that's not too bad. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's thin. I can't believe this is diesel. All right, so another thing I did too, I didn't show it on camera, I'll do a little close up, is I um, opened the oil fill uh, cap, like in the engine bay. Introduce a little bit more, um, a little bit more airflow, and it does help though. The um, oil come out now. I did notice, <laughs> like, obviously it's pretty thin oil, but man, it did not take long for this stuff to uh, to drain. Now I'll look up the torque specs and uh, let you know what they are. But for me, I'm just going to give her a little little snug up. It's got a rubber gasket, like I said, so you don't have to go crazy. Okay. Now this might be a bit of a pecker head. All right, so definitely it's on from the factory, but the oil filter blue, 
I've got these channel lock style ones and I'm really hoping that, yeah, they should be okay. I'm just going ever so gently just because the dealership sold my father-in-law the wrong oil. They, they sent him off with 1530, but they say, so he went back, they tried selling them 020, the dextro stuff you're supposed to get. So I'm just worried that the oil filter is not the right one. So I was going real slow in case it's the wrong one, like the thread pitch is wrong. Then I'll have to put this one back on just in a pinch, but. So what I do with my filters, like I don't like to make a big mess, so I'm gonna let that drain out. All right, so I got a, I got a dribble now, so I'm gonna go <clears throat> go ahead and uh, pull this right off, dump her in the pan. Yeah, quite a bit of oil shooting out of the uh, oil filter housing on these. So we'll just let that do its thing. I'm going to jump off and grab the uh, new uh, oil filter now. PF66. I'm going to take a teeny bit of used oil. Just going to go right around the uh, rubber gasket. There you go. Wipe that off. Now right on it says three quarter to one turn. So I imagine that's kind of as tight as you can, plus three quarter turn. But for me, I always, 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 and I've never had an issue, I always put these on by hand as tight as you can, and that's it. No torquing, I don't put the tool on it. No, you gotta make sure your hands aren't all slippery. Because when this thing's pressured up, Oh, I'm shaking. <clears throat> there it is, that's it. Wow, this is quite the setup here with the turbo right there. Yeah, this is a, definitely a different engine. So what you're gonna do, come on up in here, get yourself a step ladder if you're on these Rhino ramps. <laughs> um, get your favorite funnel ready. Right on the cap it says, 020 Dextrose D. Make sure you got Dextrose D, because if you get regular Dextrose O20, it's not, not going to meet the spec. <laughs> so we got, you need seven liters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drain bolts on. Oil filter's tight. Man, this stuff flows. You got to get it next to the funnel or the wind might blow it away. Now, because of the truck's not on level ground, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put my seven in because I did let it drain for about an hour. Went over to the neighbors there to check on the farm, and uh, so it's drained like big time. I'm going to put the seven in, and then I'm going to fire the truck up, get it off the ramps. I'm going to let it sit overnight, and then I'm going to. Uh, check it in the morning and see what we're sitting at with the dipstick just because right now it'd be it wouldn't be pointless but I like to check things when it's cold and on level ground so I know right now the engine's still warm from before this this fluid's obviously room temperature or whatever but um, you know I'm not driving anywhere so I'm gonna let it let it sit check it in the morning and then uh, we'll top her up if need be well, yeah, just to sorry, clarify, it takes seven quarts and not seven liters. Slightly less, like six, 6.6 .6 liters or seven U.S. quarts. We're up here in Canada. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do this or not. You might paint your fences with this stuff. I'm not sure, but it's way easier with the five liter uh, jugs. But you just slowly... Pour it back in. If you pour too fast, you will have issues. Actually, if I was smart, I would flip these around so I can see. 
Yeah, and just go by and fill them all up, return them to your depot. We're in the truck here. I'm trying to figure out how to reset the oil, uh, oil life. So I'm over on the uh, I for information next to the music, and I'm just using these little dials. Because when I got when I fired the truck up, it said change oil soon. But I'm going through here, and I can't. It's over here. Software. And, uh, all the other stuffs here, like well, there's brake pad indicators on this thing. My God. Fuel, fuel filter, transmission, def, speed, trip one, two, and fuel range, tire pressures. It's even got air filter life. I'm not seeing oil fill. Um, so I'm thinking, likely, you'll just drive and it should recognize that there's been an oil change, I guess. Um, if you know the answer, post it below. We'd like to hear. Anyways, on to the next bit. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Like I mentioned in the beginning, if you own one of these uh, 3 liter inline 6s from uh, GM or Chev, you want to definitely subscribe. We're going to be pumping out more and more videos on it. And yeah, other than that, we just have this little uh, 10 acre property out here in Niagara Falls. We uh, put out these maintenance videos. We like to do all our own work. I don't give the dealership a dime. Not only that, like, like I was mentioning, the guy sold my father-in-law 1530 which i don't know if that's a spec for the big duramax or not but uh, and then my father-in-law asked what oil they do put in this thing and they had no idea like they knew it was 020 i guess um but they couldn't even sell him oil so no idea lucky we got a hold of ams oil and they they hooked us up so um yeah like i said uh subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the next one guys all right take care